All right, so I'm gonna practice this puff flash. I need a bar. Uh, place. No, I need to face the other way. No. Maybe if I stand like this. Ah, damn it! Come on. Chill. You know what? I'm done. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another Rise Academy YouTube video. And this video, we are going to explain how to control a bot. Did you have the same issue or do you have the same issue like I did that you cannot control a bot when you want to practice a pop flash? Well, I have today the answer for you. There's a problem that every time you use bot underscore mimic one and you will set it in place. If you hit bot mimic bot underscore mimic zero, it will slide back to the normal position. So no matter how hard you try it, you're not able to control it the way you want it to be. Well, today I'm going to explain how you can precisely place a bot and precisely let him look a certain way so you can practice every pop flash and any angle you like. Um, with not further ado, let's hop right into it. It's very simple and you're going to smack yourself in the face with this. I swear to God, let's hop into it. All right, so I am in game right now and I want to train. I want to practice how to pop flash along the CT along pop flash uh, like this um, but the problem is I don't have a teammate with me and the bot if I place a bot it's not facing the right way and no matter how hard I, I try to let him mimic me if I set it on zero again he will just go right in his normal position like he spawned so what to do now? I don't have any teammates. I don't have a bot that listens to me. And how, no matter how hard I try, it just won't stay in place. It will just go back to its original position. I was I was having this problem myself and I was almost crying my, my brains out because I wanted to train my pop flashes so bad without, without having to rely on my teammates. I was like, yo, dude, I need to train pop flashes. Can you come with me in the server? Blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to train. I wanted to just practice by myself. So I was wondering, what can I do? Is there is there any other possible way to do this? So the first thing I did, I, I set bot mimic jaw offset to 360. And this one is very important later on. If, you, if this is still 180, the trick will not work. So you have to set it on 360. So when you let a bot mimic your ass like this, it's not facing you and it's mirroring you, it's listening to you. So right now I can I can let this bot do exactly what I do. So I want him to face exactly right right here for example. So it's it's facing right there. Or I wanna, I wanna have him right here. So what I need to do now, and when I did this, I, I just smacked myself in the face so goddamn hard. What I need to do right now, not bot mimic zero, not bot mimic one, set it on two, hit enter, escape, and just slowly walk away. This bot will stand exactly how I left it so it's facing it's aiming aiming exactly where I want him to aim if I want him to aim for example at the ground I'm just aiming seemingly aiming at the ground then he will still face the ground so for example when someone hears the pop flash coming and he aims towards the ground you can still still see you can still check if he's blinded, he has to know. And in this case, no, he's not blinded. If him, if I want him to face, for example, backwards, because that's something that a lot of guys do as well. Shit, pop flash, turn around. I can do the same trick. Hit one first, set it in place. Hit two next, and he will lock into place. And now I can try it again. You can see that he's still not blinded. So, for example, when I want to train this pop flash, 
if someone's standing here, for example. Here's a little trick what you can do. Hit one, set him into a wall, so you can get right behind him. Like this. He's a little bit faster because he's only wearing a pistol. And so, for example, this is a common spot to, to stand on, to check sight, to check this corner. So, for example, I want to test if, if the pop flash is useful for this position. I will set it in simply, I set it in place. I will check if he's aiming the right way. Well, he is. It's a pretty common spot. Maybe a little bit more to the, to the right, though. But that's fine for now. The next thing, I'm going to explain what these bots are doing as well. And yes, the pop flash will still work. It's not a great pop flash for that distance, but it still works. The only thing is, the only problem is that every single bot is doing the exact same thing. So, for example, if I want to test the pop flash in three different ways, I have to flash it three different times. So, for example, if I want to test it right here, I want to test it right there. And, for example, right there, I have to place the bots manually. So, for example, if I place one here, one is still there, and I don't want one here. I cannot make this bot look that way, and that bot and that bot look that way. They will all look at the same way. So, they will all look the same direction, the same the same place I let him look at. So, I can, I can test now how far the range is of this flash. So he's blinded, he's blinded, he's blinded most of all. This is the only the only trick that works so far. Um, I cannot make this bot look that way. I can try it, but it will not work. So if I make this bot look that way. And hit the two next. That bot will look that way as well. And that bot will look that way as well. So that's the only downside. The best thing to do is train it per bot. So, oh, oh crap. Only use one bot for every flash. So, I'm going to use this bot for the flash right here and the flash right there and the flash right there. So, I can precisely set him the way I want him to be. So, guys, that's pretty much it. There's one thing left. I'm sorry. There's one thing left. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to... I don't know where my brain is today, but it's not with me. All right. So I had the question a lot of times that a bot is tripping out. When you hit bot mimic underscore two or bot underscore mimic two, he's tripping out. He's going circle, circle, circles. Well, this is what it looks like. The reason that it's doing that because this, the bot jaw offset is still on 180. You need to hit it on one 360. If you hit 360, it stops moving and it will listen to the way you want him to. I cannot type for shit. There you go. So now it's it's listening to me. When I hit the the the, the bot offset jaw mimic one or 360 in this case or 180, it's mirroring me my every move. So when I look that way, he will look behind me. If I look towards him, he will look towards me. If I go left, he will go right. If I go right, he will go left. So that's a hard thing to do. So you need to set it on 360. That's a very important one because otherwise this trick will not work. So like that. But not. But mimic two. And he will lock into place. You can try your pop flash. And you can train. All right, guys. That's it for me. That's the trick. That's how it's done. Um, there's nothing more to it. So the most important things are set the jaw offset to 360. Because otherwise, it will just spin around like a, like a spin bother. 360. Hit bot mimic 1. Just set it in place. Hit bot mimic 2. Just leave the scene. Go do your pop flash. And see if the bot is blinded. Of course, it works with nades, it works with, with molotovs, it works with smokes, it works with everything. You can even um, 
boost yourself. So you can, if you hit uh, bot mimic one, set him in place, and then bot underscore crouch, it will crouch automatically. Just hit bot mimic two, and he will be still he will still be crouched. You can jump on it and do your thing from there. Um, but that's maybe for the next video. Um, this video is mainly for how to explain how to 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 set a bot in a certain way to look at a certain place. Um, I also had this video on my main YouTube account, but that account is not specifically for CS:GO. This one is, so maybe I'm gonna take that one off offline. And I didn't want to put him to put this one to put that one on this channel because it's old material, old microphone, old setup, old everything basically so and i was a pretty but i was pretty sick that day so i just wanted to have a, a good video or normal video um even though i'm still not a great youtuber by all means but i have some pretty no yeah okay <laughs> guys i want to thank everyone so much for watching if you have any questions hit me down up in the description in the comments below um if you think this was useful, hit the thumbs up. If you don't think this was useful, hit the thumbs down. Um, if this is still not what you, what you want to know, ask away. Maybe I can explain it with another video. But this video had like this question how to move and bot a certain way was asked a million times. And when I knew the answer, I had to share it with the rest of the world. All right, guys. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all in the next video.